Hello from Slovenia again. I just bought this um, deco art metallic fabric paints. You see? Uh, and I mix it with my pouring medium and I will try to do a reverse flower dip with those with this this is the red one I don't know what it says rubin rubin red <clears throat> and pearl white mixture and black and let's see if this will work so I will start with some black and pearl white and black again I will just go black white red and see what will happen black again I'm hoping for some red lacing over the black this is what I expect from this red one black again and red again I like this black and white and red combination so I'm hoping for some nice result but you never know unless you try black <clears throat> and red and I think that I will finish up these outer petals with this one I just have to grab my paper napkins bring some of this red like this okie dokie and turn it around I will start with black again and white when I say white is pearl white so black is red again black again and white and black and red and 
Hand. I will leave it like it is. I will not add any more. I will spray my paper napkin with water while I'm waiting to paint paint to flow. of the cup and I was thinking that maybe uh, I will do some jewelry video this uh, on my Sunday live this week so tell me what you think do you want to see some jewelry videos maybe how I do my jewelry I just see that I don't have paint here one I will bring some of this red here first I want to do it with gold but I really kind of don't like how this uh, extreme sheen gold reacts with black so I decided to go with pearl white and red instead of gold and red. Okay. And let's do the lifting part. see a lot of gray but oop I hope that when I will torch it it will be better Not much from this textile paint. <laughs> I was hoping for some red lacing over the black, but didn't get much of this. Let's see if this will react some more, and in the meantime, I will pour my black around. You already know that that I love to do that to even this up level this up a little bit because you pull some paint off with the napkin and it's easier to do this because uh, it's uh, nicer when it's dry if this is more leveled
I have to admit that I expect a little more lacing, red lacing. But it is kind of nice. Maybe I will just tilt, uh, spin it just once to see if getting a little more red out so maybe I should spin it a little more let's see I don't mind if my pattern goes off over the edges I actually like this And I think that it looks better now. What do you think? I will leave these edges. I will leave it now like it is because I really like it. And this red, metallic red is really nice. Deep red is not this um, uh, kind of uh, pinky red that I... I don't like that, so... I just... I forget to mute my phone again. Okie dokie. Let me take you for a close-up. I'm quite happy. I wasn't at the very beginning, but you see, I did get quite a lot of this red out, and it's not a lot of gray. I love this Bessner blue because it has this blue tone, undertone, or whatever. So it looks like kind of a paints gray when it mixes with um, white so I really like it and I like this painting too so yay maybe I can get something with this paints uh, textile paints so Tell me what you think about this. I think it's quite nice. This is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!